Have you ever heard of Kahlberg? I remember something about him from university but not much. Stages of moral development ring any bells? Nope. What is it? It's a pyramid theory that consists of three levels and six stages. The three levels are, the pre-conventional level, the conventional level and the post-conventional level. Really sounds fascinating, tell me more. The first stage is obedience and punishment. Which is where behavior takes place due to threat of or application of punishment. The second stage is individualism. That can be characterized as when a child begins to like things based on their own interests. Stage 3 begins to deal with the attitude of the child. The child begins to seek acceptance from others and their behavior may reflect just that. Children may not make the finest decisions at that point, I would imagine. Stage 4 is that of law and order, or when a child realizes their place in the world and that they have responsibilities and obligations, the fifth stage is the social contract. That is when there is an understanding about someone's well-being. The sixth and final stage is that of the principled contract, which shows that the individual understands the demands of someone's personal conscience. You're going to tell me why the hell this matters, at some point I hope. Yes I will. It is important as educators we remember that as our students age and experience more of life, they will change how and why they behave in a manner that they do. Only through an understanding of where our students are within Kohlberg's levels are we going to be able to effectively influence them to make good life decisions. We will also be able to use that information in developing lesson plans that effectively present and reinforce the subject material that we each teach. For instance we would never ask a second grader to understand the moral obligations that the Constitution of the United States puts on its citizens, they just simply wouldn't be able to understand because they haven't developed far enough up the pyramid, but it is possible to teach down the pyramid. Because students at higher grade levels should have already passed through the majority of the stages. They should be able to take into account their own experiences and develop a more in-depth understanding of a subject. Oh I see. What you were saying is that perhaps I should stop asking my fourth graders to explain the social impact the Nazi regime had on Europe and instead I should be focusing on what is a German. Precisely fourth graders would be able to understand the concept of different countries, but it may take an 11th or 12th grader to understand the impact of the Nazis. Great now I have to completely e-work my whole year. Damn!